Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out The Bad Batch Season 2, Episode Number 6. Very excited about this one. If you guys have been following The Bad Batch reactions with me for a few weeks now, you'll notice that I don't have reactions up for Episodes 4 and 5, and that's just simply because I wanted to get this episode out somewhat on time within the same week of it coming out, and Episodes 4 and 5 really didn't do it for me. I wasn't a huge fan of those episodes. I really did consider those episodes as proper filler. And I did just go on a huge spew about filler just a couple of weeks ago in one of my videos and how I really just said there's no such thing as filler. But I think this show is inventing a new kind of filler because last week's episode in particular literally had nothing to do with the main storyline cool there was there was some star wars stuff in there with the the zepho beast or the zephos and stuff like that i thought all of that lore building is really really cool but in a sense a lot of people are not interested in what is happening outside of the bad batch right now we're watching this show because of the bad batch the clones after order 66 that is the whole journey that we are here following and i think it's kind of unimportant for a lot of these episodes to be kind of clinging on to this series not saying that they were bad in any way i just feel like they have no importance to the main storyline and that's kind of why i just shelved those two and i will have this one up sometime this week like i said i'm trying to get back on schedule and just have these episodes coming out as you guys are watching them weekly mainly i would like to get them up on the same day that they come out but right now that's a little bit hard for me with my schedule but we're here with this episode hopefully something happens in this episode hopefully this is in the third filler episode in a row like i said i didn't hate those episodes in any way i thought they were fun episodes but they definitely feel detached from the main storyline and uh, i think a lot of people are kind of over that whole aspect of this show so hopefully this one's a banger but before we get started i just want to say if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button like button turning on post notifications whatever you guys want to do to support the channel i would greatly appreciate it and if you guys want to help me out any further you guys can find the full length version of this reaction or any other reaction that i have on the channel right here on youtube on my membership page so if you guys could check that out as well i would greatly appreciate it so without further ado i'm super excited so let's go oh and just so you guys know whenever it comes time to do the mandalorian stuff i will have the reactions up as soon as, as i possibly can because for shows like the mandalorian and and andor and just some of these more hyped shows i do uh stay up all night and watch the episode and then edit and record my reaction as always i'm a little more flexible with this show just because i'm not as hyped about this show maybe something will change that hopefully that that is the case we'll make the delivery echo omega got the ship hmm. something yeah i was gonna say about this place Seems a little sketchy. Is that Gunji? Halt, humanoid. Do not interfere with Vanguard Access business. Nice. They have clone blasters. <laughs> Not that way. Oh, he's looking for a saber. Omega, let's get back to the ship. <gasps> ah, clones. Hates clones. I would say. I advise you to take your soldiers and extricate yourselves from the situation. No! The Wookiee is worth a great deal to our buyer. Alive. Yeah. Slavers. For the right price. Uh. I can do whatever I want. Now stand down or be destroyed. Yeah! I think this is the first time Omega's seeing a Jedi firsthand, right? There are other Wookiees there. Is that why he was so hesitant to leave? Why is he sitting back there alone? Scared. He's scared. Here, you look hungry. Uh, hey, that's my dinner. Seeing how all clones were given an order to execute the Jedi, he has 
has good reason to be cautious. Very good reason. <laughs> I'm Omega. What's your name? Omega. I think he says his name is Gunji. <laughs> Gunji. If he's trying to get to his home world, we can take him. It's been a while since we've been to Kashyyyk. I'd like to go to Kashyyyk. The Empire could have outposts there by now. We don't know if it's safe for him there. Yeah, and they probably do by this point, because this is this is a little bit before Fallen Order, so I'm sure they're occupying chunks of the planet at least. We're heading to a village we know of, but I'm picking up heavy smoke at deforestation. Keep an eye out for Imperial. Mm. Oh, kid, keep that laser sword hidden. It uh, draws attention we don't want. I love when the non-force users call it a laser sword. What did he say? From his dreams. Yeah, he wouldn't remember much. Because those younglings are taken. Whenever they're really young. He's gonna say about a year old, but he was probably older than that just because wow. Wookiees live longer. They're swarming us. <laughs> Hold your fire. He says they will not attack unless we pose a threat. I love seeing force manipulation like with other creatures because the Jedi but especially probably Gunji just because he's from Kashyyyk respect life a lot more and all life's important because they consider the trees living things right according to my telemetry the village is straight ahead Like, I know the Trandoshans hate the Wookiees, but... It's refreshing seeing lightsaber combat in this show. <laughs> No stun needed for these fools. No. Something bigger. Whoa. Cool. Oh, are we actually gonna get to see the village. And the elder. Returning him to his homeworld, but he doesn't know what village he's from. What do we have here? Lightsaber marks. Surviving Jedi. We need to notify Imperial Command. Not if I find the Jedi first. Because that's a big problem if they do. Uh, no thanks. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> he fits right in. Yana's scouts are reporting a large convoy headed in this direction. We'll stay and help you fight them. Talking to the trees. They believe this planet belongs to the trees, and they are allies in this fight. We'll take all the allies we can get. I knew it was something with the trees. They can't run far. Not far at all. Oh. Chant later, fight now. <laughs> Wrecker is at home.
<laughs> I love it. Those things are fast. Wow, that is scary. Trap them in. Boss fight. Mm. Looks like he didn't get the memo. Oh. That is terrifying. <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> I'm sure you could. I mean, now they have the Wookiees as allies if they need help with anything, which is always a good thing. They're both just kids, but they don't get to be. Not in this galaxy. Perhaps one day we all will find a new path. Hopefully, one far away from war. great episode all right so that was the bad batch season two episode six i really really liked that episode a lot especially with them starting off with uh with gunji on a on a slave trader ship or a smuggling ship if you will i thought the idea of that and that's how they they run into him is a really really good idea um it kind of seemed like there may have been more wookies on that ship because of the way that Whenever they were leaving, he kind of hesitated to leave. So maybe that's something that happens off in the future. Um, but it's always good to have the Wookiees as allies. And, and now the, the Batch has the Wookiees as allies for helping them out on Kashyyyk. So hopefully that comes back into play sometime later on in the show. Or maybe on in a, in a different, different timeline, something like that. But I found this episode to be a lot, a lot of fun. I thought the action was great. Having a Jedi in the mix of things is always fun. Especially in this show. It's a real change of pace. It's very refreshing to see a lightsaber in this show again. But the Elder Wookiee said something to Hunter and Tech at the end of the episode that kind of stuck with me. And it's it has to do with a lot of complaints that a lot of people have about this show. And that's that these kids are just kids and they don't get to be. Um, and that has to relate to a lot of complaints with Omega. Um, a lot of people complain that she's annoying and that she's a kid. It has that a uh, smirky, annoying factor that, that younger kids tend to have but they said it within the episode they're kids and they don't get to be i mean they can't help the situations that they're in so i kind of just excuse a lot of her, her childish antics in this show just because she is a kid it's only natural for kids to act this way and and the reactions from the batch definitely seem to reflect that um you know with with them not feeling that they're able to do more especially since they took her away and now they're kind of watching after her they feel that they have to protect her more than anything else so i see the inner conflict and i really really like that aspect of the show so i'm really liking it so far i think that the filler episodes could use a little work i think that all these episodes could really fit into the main storyline if they pushed it enough i think that some of these stories just seem a little bit useless to the overarching plot of the the entire show so i if i were in charge i would have you know a few more episodes with the clones and stuff and of course we can have the batch doing other things off world and and, and off of the main storyline so i have no problem with that it's just whenever it gets too excessive and we see too much of it in the show that's whenever i start to have a problem with it but right now four out of the six episodes of this season i've absolutely loved i thought they've been so much fun and i can't wait to see what else this show brings us so let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button like button turning on post notifications whatever you guys want to do to support the channel i would greatly appreciate it and if you guys want to help me out in any other way you guys can find the full length version of this reaction or any other reaction that i have upon the channel right here on youtube on my membership page so if you guys could check that out as well i would greatly appreciate it so hopefully you guys did enjoy and i will see you all in the next one